Hey kiddos, this is Bhavna, your Mass Teacher of Physics at Grade 9 and then with Anto English Channel and I welcome you all to a very very interesting session. Actually it is just a little concept but a concept that actually is a confusion point for every 10th grader. So if you are a 10th grader, this session is very very important for you. Let me just start with the topic, what is it all about? So Bacha Party, to start with, how many of you find it very confusing, very confusing that if we talk about the formula of electric power, right? When we write the formula of electric power with the term that P is equals to Vi using my formulas for Ohm's law. So if I use Ohm's law, and I put V is equals to IR, my power comes out to be I into R into I, which is I square R, giving me power should be in directly proportional to R, right? On the other hand, if I put the Ohm's law as I is equals to V upon R, your power formula should come out to be what? V into I becomes V into V upon R, which is V square upon R, giving me power as inversely proportional to R. So, the query is, question mark, big question mark, doubt. What is it? Which power directly proportional to R or is power inversely proportional to R? Yes. Now, to answer this question, Bachapati, I have a very cool way for you guys to understand. When I say that power is directly proportional to R, I am using the formula I square R. In this case, my I is constant in the circuit. On the other hand, when I say my power is V square upon R, my power comes out to be 1 upon R. In this case, my V is a constant quantity. Now, this is very interesting, very interesting. Listen to this, people, very, very interesting. If you guys have this confusion, where to use which formula, then you very well know in my series circuit, my I is constant. My I remains same in all the elements. That means the formula to be used in that case is I square R. On the other hand, if I have my resistances connected adjacent to each other, that is in parallel circuit, my V remains constant or same around all the elements, I'll put the use of this formula. So, aaj ke baad, this confusion should not be there that what the power is equivalent or proportional to. Is it directly proportional to R? Yes, it is perfectly correct if the I is constant. Second, is it inversely proportional to R? That is also perfectly correct if my V is constant. Now, I am going to leave you with a simple question. Bohati chota sa hai question de rio mein aap logo ko bacha baati. The question will be, tell me if you are using a circuit at home. So, at home, which formula of power you should apply? Which formula of power, of electric power should we use? at our home tell me people let's see how many of you are going to get to the right answer of this one at home which formula of electric power should we use should we use i square r or should we use v square upon r give me your answer in the comment section of this video and give me the reason as well the right answer, I'll disclose after some time, right? So, at home, which formula of electric power should we use to calculate power, right? To calculate it. Come on, people. I know you can do this. It was amazing, amazing, amazing to always come up with such important and very, very informative sessions for you. Do not forget... Vedantu tries to bring everything for you. So do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Do like the video and share it with your friends if you liked it. And yes, by the way, ek aur query. Is Smiley Co. if you want to become a happy Smiley, what is the code? The code is BAPRO. 
Use that to buy the subscription at Vedantu and get fancy discounts. Take care, Vachavadi. I'll see you in one more video. Bye-bye.